what is going on and welcome back to bitcoin daily in today's video we're going to show you guys a live trading session from this morning so we're going to show you how we made a thousand dollars in profit on this account within four hours of trading guys we're going to show you how we made a thousand dollars in four hours just taking trades live with you guys basically what we did every single morning we have a trading session and today we recorded our trading session on the challenge account which is the account that we're starting with 0.1 bitcoin and trying to grow it to one full bitcoin so we did start recording the trading last night because there was a lot of volatility so we took a few trades last night and then we continued this morning um when we woke up around 9 30 a.m and we traded till about 11 a.m so about two to three hours trading i believe plus we probably did maybe an hour last night so i hope you guys enjoy this video please make sure to hit that subscribe hit that like and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time we do post a video and if you guys are interested in using the exchange that we use uh we use bybit so um in the link and in the description we have a link where you guys can just hit that and sign up through that and uh, you'll be able to get some rewards on your initial deposit up to around a hundred dollars or more so without further ado let's jump right in guys All right, guys so what we're doing here uh we just entered a trade um as you guys can see here our entry let me show you what our entry is you can see we got we're currently 13 percent in profit about um almost 300 dollars profit um let's let what we're gonna do first before we explain the trade we're gonna set up a stop loss so as you guys know conditional order isolated um market and then here just reset this market here we're going to set our trigger price so for now we're going to put 21 700 um just for now and then we can move it and then the the amount here is going to be for the total amount of contracts that we have 26 13 and then you always want to hit close on trigger to make sure that it closes and it doesn't add positions in case you write the wrong amount here or something confirm all right, so here we go. So um, as you guys can see here, we're currently up 15% and over $300 in profit. So we have our stop loss set up. We're gonna zoom into the five minute mark and uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna move our stops a bit up. So probably right under 800 is where we're gonna move this. If it, if it, drops under 800 uh we want to sell right put it for now at 21,775, and you see it's gone up as high as 21.9 right so um so let's talk about we're going to be watching this trade and um trying to go over what we're doing first of all let's if we zoom out you guys can see that today uh we broke out of 20k right we broke out of 20,000 um this was a, a move that we we're talking about for a while and as you guys can see we kept getting rejected 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 and finally we broke out so this was our first entry of the day on this candle boom we broke out we bought that up and we rolled that up till about um around this range right here so right right under 21k and then the new entry we we entered as soon as we broke out of 21 uh 21,000 um and we rolled that up till about this range right here and then we just had a new entry that just triggered here at 21.5 so now let's uh zoom in a bit let's go into the to the 15 minute let's go into five minutes um but at the, at the 15 minute we could see it a little bit easier um, you can see that this was the impulse move up then this was the bull flag right so it's created the bull flag here and then on the break back up right about here would be the entry so right about these but we waited for 500 because it was so close um so at that 500 mark is where we entered and um and then you can see that so that's a, a breakout entry guys textbook very pretty easy um entry 
um, as long as you're going with the trend, right? The next entry that we're going to be looking for um, is above 22, right? So we're going to go ahead and set that up. So before you set up the new, the next trade, make sure you you take off the close on trigger. If not, your order will cancel and you will not, it will not um, go through, right? So uh, conditional isolated 10 X. That's what we're using right now. And then 22, 22,000 usually, you know, get give it give it a little bit of room and then we're going to add on 10,000 contracts all right so let's go ahead and set this order up we have it set up oh wait we, we might actually get stopped out here so if we get stopped out then we could add more more contracts so there's a stop out our order just just triggered our stop um so we just made basically almost 300 about, about 250 dollars profit there um we're gonna go ahead and set up new orders here um for 22,000 and we're gonna go ahead and hit buy on this. So this is gonna set up our new order. Boom, our order's there. It's set up. Um, and if it, now we break 22K, we're gonna do the same thing we just did here at the 21, what we did at the 20, what we did at the 21.5 is a breakout entry. So it's pretty simple. So that's the idea for, for right now to go ahead and enter above that. So we're watching, we're gonna see this. If this does the same thing it did here, then we might look for a new entry up above that 21.8 area. Um, if not, um, if it continues up, you know, then we have the breakout here. So uh, for now, we're gonna go ahead and wait and uh, see what happens and we will update you guys. A, a few things have happened since our last update, uh, but let me update you on the current uh, entry we just took. So you guys can see here, we just entered at 23,000. That's right, we're at 23,000 now. Um, we just took this entry um, and we're seeing if, if this holds, right? So basically, um, we've been using this 23K range to enter in several times now. So our first entry was back here. As soon as we broke that 23K range, um, we were able to ride it up pretty nicely and make some profits. Then uh, we trailed out, and then when it bounced back up and over 23K again, we entered again. And once again, we took profits up here, trailed out, and then now it just went right back down to 23,000. Um, so we're trying to use that same entry, you know, a third time basically to see if we can make profits yet another time. So um, yesterday, I think we ended up making probably close to like $300 profit on this account. Um, today uh, we're up 143 um, we took a few stop losses in between um, which has uh, lowered you know what uh, what we've won here um, but you just gotta that's part of the game guys you gotta you gotta keep playing it I think yesterday we did like $300 um, profit and today we're up to 143 plus we're, we have another 50 or so here so that's basically another two hundred dollars profit, um, and uh, and if this trade goes our way, it's gonna make us at least another hundred dollars or so um, in profit. So um, so that's part of the game, guys. You know, you just gotta stay at it. If not, you're gonna miss opportunities. You know, I don't know why the closed PNL is not updating here. As soon as we entered, we set up our stop losses, um, as we always tell you guys to do. Um, as you can see here, this is our stop loss at 22,940, um, which is just under these candles here, basically. I wanted to make sure I, I got under all these candles right here. Um, so that's why I used that number. Um, I didn't want to go all the way down under 900 because that's too wide of a stop for what I'm looking for right now. So um, we've also been trading during the, all this, uh, we've been trading XRP and we've also been trading um, Ethereum. So first, uh, XRP, as you guys can see, we're currently in, in a position, but we're currently down 4%. Um, you see that we entered, what we did, we entered at the break of 60 cents here. Um, it ran up to about 61, and then now it's currently, you know, just kind of pulling back a little bit. So um, we're basically giving ourselves, uh, I think we're gonna give ourselves about a two cent, window about two and a half cents a little bit less than two and a half cents 225 um, <clears throat> and um, 
our target is five cents basically going to be our first target which is 65 cents so this is our other trade that we have set up in ethereum as you can see hasn't triggered yet um but the idea here let's go to 50 minute window a 50 minute chart real quick um we're looking to enter above to uh, 670. so we had the test of 670 here we had it basically on two different candles and they both got rejected um, and it's just been in this um, bull flag pattern ever since, right? This is what you call a legendary stop loss. <laughs> you guys, this is a legendary stop loss. We avoided the stop out. Price went down to 941. Our stop was at 940. Legendary. We did not stop out there. We're up now 6%, about $140, 150 or so. We had that hero stop here that did not get hit by one dollar a uh, perfect stop placement uh now what we're gonna do we're gonna go ahead and, and move this up right under the hundred dollar mark that 2300 mark um because if if it drops back down to under 23 100 then we we want to trail out and look for new entries back at 23. so um, the idea here is to just continue to trail this pretty tightly. Um, you know, we want to try to stay in it in the trade for as long as possible, for as long as it continues going up. Um, but we we don't want to we want to take profits if, if it starts retracing back down here. So um, this is these are scalps. Uh, these are you know you're just getting in and out. Uh, we've literally been in this trade for about you know five ten minutes. XRP. See where we're at. We got a, we're getting a, a little bounce here as well. So hopefully we can get this back up and above um, this point up here. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and move up our stops right under that 59 cent range. If we stop out, we'll just simply set up new uh, entries. So that's fine. Let's see where we're at here. If we get up above 23,200, then we're gonna, we're gonna be looking to take a profit and move up our uh, trail stops. All right, so we're gonna set up limit orders to take profit at 23,200 in the event that we do get there. So uh, when you're when you're taking profits for to take profits, you don't you don't need to set conditional orders or uh, market orders or anything like that. You could just set a limit order at the spot you want to take profit, right? So we're looking to take profit at 23,200 for 25% of our position, which is in our case 5733 so this is gonna be a reduce only good till canceled everything is good and we're going to go ahead and hit that sell button so now we have our take profit set up that's our first target we have it set up and the reason that we do limit orders here is because on limit orders you don't have to pay any type of fees you actually get paid to uh you you know it's nothing crazy but you get a percentage back when you take a limit order you don't have to pay any fees on it so that's why when you're when you're taking profit you want to be using limit orders when you're entering trades or using stop losses you want to use conditional market orders so you want to do, be in markets and yes you have to pay fees but um you're ensuring that you're going to your, your entry or your stop loss is going to trigger which it hurts a lot a lot more if it doesn't trigger trust trust i speak from experience all right so we're at about 100 180 profit right now seven percent and you can see that uh that we're about to hit our target profit right there come on baby keep on trucking keep on trucking we're five dollars away and and oh no we got pushed down right at, we got pushed down right before our order triggered no Oh no, what's the high on this candle? 23, 199.5 guys. It happens to the best of us, I'm telling you. So this is why anytime it starts getting in the zone, 
you can take profit. So it doesn't have to be exactly 200. You can take profit here at the 180 mark. You could take profit at the 190. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly 200 because that that type of stuff always tends to happen. That's not the first time it happens. It, it, it gets rejected there. So we're going to bring it down a bit because we're disappointed. We didn't <laughs> we didn't take profit there. Um, so we're going to put it in the mid, mid 90s for now. See if, uh, if, if we can hit it this time. Guys, here we go, guys. We did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Our order was triggered. <laughs> so we just took profit. As you can see, guys, we're up 192 in profit. And we have another 143. So we're about or 150. So we're about three, $350 in profit. Alrighty, guys. So a few minutes have passed. And as you know, in crypto, a few minutes can mean an eternity what we're doing now we're moving up our stop losses right under 200 we got this breakout finally above 200 with this candle right here and then this one has continued up to that 300 range almost um, so what we're gonna be doing we're also gonna be taking profits at 300 we're gonna go ahead and hit sell short for that amount so you can see we're up almost $200 here we're up 190 something plus 190 something there we're about to hit our second take profit here so um, there it goes it just hit ladies and gents so we just took profit on the second part of the position and once we get above 23.3 we're gonna move up our stop losses as well. So there's 23.3. For, for right now, we're gonna move it up to 240. So you can see guys, we've taken basically half our uh, positions off. We have about 1100 left in the position. We have about 264 in realized profits and another 160 there right so that's what uh 360 420 420 guys and then we have of course this position here um which is about another 160 so that's 580 580 profits then we have about 20 dollars. So that's 600 we're at 600 ladies and gentlemen um the goal for this video is to try and hit a thousand dollars in profit trading on this account as you can see we just got we just got a breakout here above uh, 23,300, we're about to hit four. So um, we're moving up our stops. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and set up new entries, right? So the new entries are going to be um, above 23,500. That's where we, where we want to take those new entries. 20,000, take off, reduce only. Make sure that you're in conditional always. Make sure you're in isolated always. Uh, market order we gotta do it again 23 5 so now we're just gonna wait so we have orders set up above that 500 range uh, we have our stop loss set right above the 300 so if we stop out that's fine we're ready to take profits and we're ready with our new orders so um, life is good guys we're up about $600 um, we have $400 to go to hit our um, target for this video. Alrighty guys, so we stopped out of our position. Um, that was for about 150 or so. For some reason, the, the PL is not working on um, Vibit right now, it's not updating. Let's see um, our XRP position. There we go, it's running up, that's what I'm talking about up about $60 it looks like. So we're gonna go ahead and move up our stop losses here. So we hit 61. Um, I'm gonna move the stop loss right under this candle. So um, we almost ran up to 62, so close. Our target right now is 65. That's kind of what, we're, what we want, but we're gonna be trailing it very aggressively to go ahead and take profits you know if it comes back down so um so that's what we're currently doing um we're gonna just keep the stop here at this uh right under this 
all right guys so we moved up our stop right to 6140 uh because it's still it's consolidating a bit there trying to get 362 so we just want to make sure that it clears 62 and then we'll move our stop right under this candle another update ethereum finally triggered so we're in the ethereum trade remember the first thing always once it triggers so conditional isolated so we're gonna hit close on trigger market order sell short right so um now we're just we're gonna go ahead and move up this the stop we're just gonna move it right under this um the candle so right right off the bat we just want it right under this candle um and let's see how far we can run with this position and we're just going to be trailing it aggressively on the five minute um let's take a look at uh bitcoin because this triggered so we we got the 500 trigger um that we we're talking about so first thing conditional isolated market now let's set up that order 23 4 50 so we're just going to give it about 50 dollars to run and we have 25 thousand contracts close on trigger i'm gonna go ahead and hit sell short yeah we're, we're gonna wait for it to at least get to like 600 to move up our stop and we want a new candle as well but for now as you guys can see we're up about 377 our xrp is taking off guys look at this nice so we're gonna go ahead and move up this right under this candle right under 62 all right guys so we got stopped out of our position so I know some of you, when this happens, you get discouraged and you don't want to take a trade anymore, but not here. We're ready to jump right back into the next trade. So you got to just set up a new uh, order right back, right back on the horse. So I'm going to put it right above this, this last five minute candle, which the high was 14. So I put my order at 516 and uh, we're going to see if that triggers. So that's the new order, the new breakout order that I have above 23,500. Um, if we have a dip, um, we'll be looking for, you know, possibly a lower entry. But for now, we're just going to go ahead and use this, this new breakout entry. Alrighty, guys. So I hope you guys learn a lesson here. Valuable lessons. So we got stopped out of our position, right? for i don't know maybe i don't know it was like 20 25 30 dollars or something and we re-entered the trade and we're already up about 60 dollars here so that's why you always got to just re-enter the trade if it makes sense not always it doesn't always make sense but if it makes sense to re-enter you got to re-enter it right you can't get discouraged by um by a, a stop out that happens um, so what we're doing, we're going to go ahead and set up our stop losses. So let's set that up. Uh, conditional isolated. I always double check because I've done it before where I've had it set up wrong and it just instantly executes my cell order and it's very sad. Um, so, um, so we're over 600. We're going to move our stops just under the 50 range, the 50 mark. Um, we want to see it push up a bit on that 600 so that we can go ahead and move up our, our stops right under 600 is that there might be consolidation here and we don't want to stop out right away. You know what I mean? Even though we're up, um, a good, you know, $80, 60 to $80 right now. Um, we still, we see, we would have stopped out if we had our, our stops right up there, we would have stopped out already. So, um, we do want to profit as much as possible though. So we're going to move our stops because the, and there might be a rejection there. Um, so we're going to move our stops right over here to this, uh, that 75 range. There it is. So that's fine. We just made $50. Uh, basically we made back what we lost on the previous trade. And then now what we're going to do, we're, gonna, we're just going to set up, um, you know, I figured it would just bounce right back up. We're going to set up new orders um, right above 600. So take off the close on trigger. And as you guys can see, this is this is that's the, the good and the bad, right? When it comes to um, to trailing aggressively, because 
it'll do things like that where it'll stop you out and then it'll take off right so um so we set up a new order and it just triggered and uh and we're just gonna see what happens there right so we took profit basically on our full position set up a new order right above the, the that 600 mark and uh and we triggered it again and now we're just gonna put a stop loss right so set up a stop again boom so we have the stop here we're just gonna we're gonna keep it under this candle which is at 70 so we're gonna we're gonna give ourselves about about 50 dollars or so I'm gonna put this right at that 60 range. You see that we're, we're back to that 290 uh, from profits. And plus we have this 37 or so now. Let's see uh, what's going on with the rest of our positions. So on Ethereum, we're currently up 8%. Um, we're gonna go ahead and move up the stop right under this candle right here. Um, we wanna see this one close before we continue up. But we've gone up as high as six, seven, eight. Um, so uh, that's almost at our first target, right? So we're, let's check on XRP. XRP is moving nicely as well as you guys can see here. We're up about uh, one hundred and eighty dollars here. So let's go ahead and move up our stops. As always, we're gonna move it up right under this candle, which is also right under that 63 cent mark. So we're just gonna keep trailing, guys. Um, our first target in XRP is 65 cents. Our first target here is um, 700. So we're gonna be taking profit at seven, eight, and 900, and then set up new orders above 24K. So that's the plan on this position on this trade. Um, our targets on Ethereum is 680. So 680 is that first target. We're almost there. We're almost close enough to set up a uh, limit order there to take profits on that. Guys, XRP is taking off. Unrealized profits 216. Guys, 216. We're up 34% on our position. Guys, we're about at $800 profit today uh, in the last, like I've been trading now for about, uh, since I started around 9 a.m. It's 11.34. I started around probably 9.30 or 10 a.m. Um, so I've been trading about an hour and a half to two hours. We've made about $800 profit. Plus um, yesterday when we started, when we first started this video, we did about 250 profit. So uh, guys, we're up over, if you include that in the last 12 hours, we're up over $1,000 profit in the last 12 hours, just taking these trades like this. We're, we're literally just taking um, breakout trades and uh, playing bull flags. That's literally what we're doing. We've made over $1,000 doing this right now in the last 12 hours. And uh, out of that thousand, we've made 800 of it in the last two hours. Alrighty guys, so we're gonna end this video here. Um, we don't, this video is already long enough. Um, but uh, but as you guys saw, we did over a thousand dollars in profit over the last 12 hours, and basically we're just trading three different coins: um, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and XRP, and uh, just using breakout entries in order to uh, enter the trades. Um, and and we're, we also used some pullbacks, but it was mostly breakout entries above or below um, Well above, you know major resistances So um, we're gonna wrap it up on this note um, You know, we just wanted to we haven't done one of these in a while uh, We're gonna see if we do a live stream Sometime soon where we talk about the market and maybe even trade live with you guys um, so we're going to look to see if we do go ahead and do that. That's pretty much it, guys. Um, please make sure you subscribe. Uh, we're trying to grow this community. If you guys keep subscribing, and help, it continues to help us. And also like, subscribe and like the video and hit that notification bell. When you guys do that, then you help us, us out with the, um, the YouTube algorithm so that our content gets, you know, shared more and recommended by YouTube themselves. 
So thank you guys. I will see you in tomorrow's video. Um, as always, keep hodling. Peace. Love. We out.